Good morning, y'all. Good morning. If you notice outside, we're at a different camping spot from where you left us last time. Around one o'clock in the morning last night, some young kids turned on some music and they were just having a great time. So we just moved camp to another part of the property. And we didn't realize it, but it was spring forward. So we lost an hour. Oh, we realized it. I didn't realize it until the music was going last night. Cause you said, it's not 12, it's 1 a.m. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I think I'm on three hours of sleep right now. Well, I actually counted. I went to bed at two. So I had like seven hours. You got seven like hours? Nine, it's like nine o'clock, isn't it? Is it nine o'clock? I woke up at eight. It's 10 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> what are we doing? This morning, Kelly calls me toots. <laughs> Why in the world would you call me toots? I don't know. It's just what happened. I've been toots. I've been bougie. I've been shooka. I've been, I, I've had so many nicknames, but toots? Like a tootsie roll or like a tutu? That's just what to do. If y'all were wondering what Kelly was doing, she has to wear a retainer because she wore, she had braces when she was younger. Me, on the other hand, I have to wash night guards because I learned the art of grinding my teeth. And it started when I was a tax accountant and it hasn't let up. So I'm really good at knowing how to grind my teeth now. One day I won't have any bottom teeth if I keep this professional up. Professional tooth grinder. I'm a professional tooth grinder, man. Collagen first. A friend of ours says it's just ground up toenails. I don't think fish have toenails. They got scales. <laughs> Oh well, teach is on. It makes us feel good. I wake up dying of thirst in the morning and this kind of helps that and I just don't want water. So what are we having this morning for breakfast? I don't even know. I don't know either. You can look on my phone at the menu. You either have apple oats or hummus toast. Well, apple oats, I have to make that at night. So I guess we're having hummus toast. the plan for today babe thought we were going to go hiking at the waterfall they know that? yeah y'all know we're going there we talked Not about bad. it colorado bend state park i mean it's already 11 47. <laughs> oh lord me i love time change i'm more of a fall back i like gaining that hour i'm not a big spring forward type of guy mm -hmm. matter of fact i just wish we could split it down the center take 30 minutes and leave it i know there was a time when we needed time change i just don't not see anymore. the need for time change anymore i thought it was so the kids didn't have to walk to school in the dark i don't think so mm -hmm. anywho let's get on the road babe I think we're lost. Our GPS told us to keep going straight and then we were going down a back road that was bouncy and we haven't seen any people. Then we saw a wooden sign that said State Park this way two miles. So we're just hoping we're going the right way. I don't have a clue where we're at because I don't have phone service anymore either. Hey, a duck. <laughs> man, ducks are cool, man. Colorado Bend, 0. 0.6 miles. The Colorado Bend State Park is actually on a river called the Colorado River. It's not the Colorado River in Colorado, and I never knew that Texas had its own Colorado River. However, I did know that Texas territory used to include the state of Colorado, a little tip of Wyoming, the panhandle of Oklahoma, and all of New Mexico, no, not all of New Mexico, half of New Mexico on the Rio, to the Rio Grande and up. But Texas had to give all that up when they became a part of the, the United States. 
and it looks like we're here it says all visitors including park pass holders okay here we go let's see what happens howdy hi how are you guys good how are you we're just here coming for the day we're gonna go hiking all right, do you have a reservation to hike oh no just to enter the park just to enter the park not to yeah. camp i'm going camping no, just to enter the park. oh we have to have a reservation Go ahead and get you in. I've had some no shows. <gasps> so for the two o'clock session, it's five till. I'm letting y'all in. Thank you yeah, so much. Okay, yeah. The no shows, I try to let people in when I can. Okay. So state is that Arkansas. Arkansas. But when I do have somebody that that doesn't show up for their debut spot, I try to give it away. You're my hero. Thank you. But in the future, and for all state parks in Texas, you do need a reservation to enter the park. Oh. So let's go to ReserveAmerica.com. Okay. Plan a day visit. We're booked all the way through September at this point. I don't have one single spot. Wow. Wow. September. Now, day use is five days out. And they do reserve five days out. So. Well, we were unaware that you have to make a day reservation. I feel like I've never encountered that in my entire life. But we have always booked a camping spot at these state parks when we were here last year. And so I guess that's why we never knew about the day reservation issue. So heads up, if you're coming to Texas, you're spending some time and you cannot get a reservation to camp at the park, you still have to make a reservation for the day use, which was $10. We are so fortunate that she had a cancellation yeah. to let us because we just drove an hour basically to get here. Thank you. Yeah. That, was, that was cool. She was so sweet. So we're going to go see Gorman Falls and that is the Gorman Trailhead is the sign you're going to look for. All right, we're parked. Yay, we're here. So the trail is going to be, yeah, Gorman Falls trail mile and a half one way we always keep our dirty hiking shoes out here in the outdoor compartment i really like my ultra lone peak runners and kelly's got herself i guess some ultra too don't you did you get ultra yeah i don't even know what kind they are but she likes those all right y'all so we parked here we're gonna hike this yellow and gorman falls is right there A lot of this rock that Kelly and I are walking on used to be an ancient seabed. Now it's just like... Like pretty much everything that we've hiked. <laughs> this whole United States was ancient seabed at one time. Yeah, a lot of it was. What's really crazy, and I've talked about this before in vlogs in the hill country that we've done, that the Washita mountain range that's located in Arkansas, parts of it are under the Texas hill country, going all the way to the big bend Marfa and Marathon area of Texas. Oh, look at this one, Kelly. Oh, fine. Isn't this a yucca? I think so. Oh, it's so pretty when it blooms. Kelly loves these things. Yeah, it really is. Okay. I'll be honest, this is not a uh, beginner trail when you get to this part. Like, this is crazy. Oh, there's the Colorado River. Yeah, this pretty. is this is pretty cool. So this is this the minerals that are being created from this waterfall. So I just read a sign that said that how these things were formed were basically the same way 
as calcium building up on a sink over time they kept building up on each other until it finally created these formations which is pretty neat now that we're back at the truck we're going to drive around the rest of the park so we can check it out we might use the showers because we have not showered in a regular shower we've been showering in our camper i can't remember the last time it might have been when we were in fredericksburg at that campground so it'd be nice to have room to move around and shower so i think we're going to check them out because usually at state parks here in texas their showers have been very nice from what we've seen oh that's a long road but we made it to the campground and it's right along the river so you have spots kind of, well, we passed them right by the water. And then you have some on this side. Hey, that's our very first tent Kelly and I bought. Y'all see that Coleman? Coleman? Yeah, that's the very first tent we ever owned, babe. Well, we had the bigger one. I still don't see a shower. I don't either. What's that say? Restrooms? Yeah, but I think it's just pee pee. I don't think it's a shower. Maybe it's the other way. I mean, it had a symbol with the shower. Well, it sure don't look big enough to be a shower. Yeah. I'll go check real quick. I doubt it's a shower, but okay. See, it says shower. And? It's a pee pee. So there's camping on the other side. We're gonna drive over there and see if the shower's over there. Yeah, another reason I personally didn't want to use our showers, and we're trying to use up the water, but the water that we got at Fort Stockton in that campground is salty. And so we're like dying of thirst and the only water we have is through our filtration system and it's still salty. And it's like tearing my hair up. We went through the same issue when we were in Yuma. All the water down there, you had to get water from a water mill if you wanted water without salt in it. And it would literally say salt free water. And at first I was so confused because I'm like, all water is salt free. Like I don't understand. Then we accidentally got some water from somewhere and it was not salt free and it was very salty we were very thirsty we were like dying of thirst kind of like i am right now yeah i'm pretty parched <laughs> the more i drink the thirstier i get yeah i guess we will turn around possibly and park somewhere and use our shower here now on the map it showed a guy doing his little showering with little water drops on him but we talked to a lady and apparently there is definitely no shower here nobody's even seen a shower so that map I think somebody put that on there by mistake. It's salty. We'll be done with that water soon. And we did have a filtration system on it. That's one of the things you run into sometimes. But we did see an RV when we were in Florida and this guy brought out a water softener and it was the size of a, like, it was bigger than a bucket. It was huge. I wish we had room for one of those. That'd be nice, real nice. I don't know if there are smaller water softeners. If there are, let us know. We'd love to have a water softener that we could carry in this thing, but most of them were too big that we couldn't uh, store it anywhere. All right, guys, we're clean. I love go. Do we know where we're going? So we're going to a restaurant that we've eaten at a long time ago. We didn't put it on the vlog. I think we ate there last year when we came this direction and it's quite good, but it's in Lano or Lano, however y'all want to pronounce it. After driving around the square for a couple hundred times. Finally found a parking spot. It was adequate enough. <laughs> adequate, adequate. Anyways, we're in the town of Lano, Lano. I know it can be pronounced both ways. And I do want people to know, it's not that there isn't anywhere to park, because look. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of places to park. I'm just I don't very know what's particular, wrong with him. and I pass, I'll be driving, and she'll be like, park there? I'm like, nah, there. No, but then we pull into a parking spot, and we're at like a 9% grade, and I was like, I don't think it's very safe to put the parking brake on a nine percent grade and just be parked well for she like doesn't like hours. the transmission having well yeah we're trying to like keep this vehicle up so we didn't want to put a strain on i didn't want to put a strain on the transmission he's like okay you're right you're right so we drive around again and we pass like 50 parking spots anyways let's go check out this town and the restaurant after all that they're closed so <laughs> We're gonna drive into Fredericksburg, which is about 38, 40 minutes from here. There's a restaurant there that we like, and we're gonna go there. We've got a beautiful sunset we wanted to show you. Look at that. Uh-oh, here goes the trees. You're gonna get another good spot here in just a second. There you go, look at that. Look at that sunset. So pretty. My man can parallel park this rig in Heck between yeah. two cars. Hey, back it up way, in that's here. That's the way I roll. We gotta make things like this happen. <laughs> All right, so take two. They are open and they have a line, so we have a wait. But that's okay because it is worth it. Take three. 
They're not accepting any more reservations tonight because they're booked up for an hour and a half to two hour wait and they close in an hour. And this is, remember, spring break week. So we're walking to Hill and Vine. Never eaten there, but looked good. They're basically not taking any more tables, but they close at nine and it's eight o'clock. This is August Eve. They're closed, but well, it didn't work out. So we're gonna go and I guess get to go at the Pasta Bella. So they told you that you could do to go, right? Yeah, they told me that you could do to go. Hello. We're home. That was a crazy chain of events, <laughs> but we didn't explain what happened. We got food ordered because they allowed us to order it to go. And then a table never showed. So they said, you can have your food in here. But after this crazy chain of events, we'll catch you on the other. See you on the next one.